Hey, I'm Brennan with Revzilla, and today we are checking out the Icon Elsinore 2 boots available at Revzilla.com. So the Elsinore 2 boots, these were originally released uh, back in the spring of 2012. They were incredibly popular. These things were selling like hotcakes, and I'm glad to see them returning with some minor updates here, which we will get into more later. This is kind of, you know, it's not really an ADV boot. It is probably inspired by, you know, the, the 60s and 70s enduro riders out there with this style boot. This is what they were rocking. But if you're an ADV rider nowadays, I probably wouldn't recommend going with something like this. It's definitely uh, got a bit of a uh, flex flexibility and movement there. Not a whole lot of torsional lateral protection in that application, but I like this style. A lot of people do, and I like what Icon has done. They've actually reintroduced this. It's coming in around 225 bucks, which is actually $20 cheaper than when the original came out. So it's not very often that manufacturers are updating a model and then bringing it back and then it's actually less money. So uh, kudos to Icon for that. Thank you very much. But let's talk about the fit here before I get running. These are very much fitting true to size. I'm typically a 10 and a half to a size 11. 11 fits me spot on. So again, stick with your typical shoe size. You should be good to go. There are half sizes available. One thing I did want to note for you though, if you do have high arches on the inside, you might feel a bit of pressure there. Some of us try these on and we don't necessarily have high arches, but we could feel that pressure in that area. It is cowhide leather, so it is going to relax. It is going to break in with regular use and time, but it is one of those notes that I think is worth making for you out there. If you do have high arches, might not be the best option for you. These boots will ship to you for free. And as always, we do have our price match policy in place. Take advantage of that because that's going to guarantee they're getting the best deal around. Let's talk about what we got going on here. Reinforcement at the toe area. And you can see we've got a little bit of reinforcement over here just back. I wouldn't necessarily call this much of a shifter pad. It should be a little bit closer to the toe, but a little bit more reinforcement in that area. As we swing around to the side, one thing that is worth noting is that these buckles are different. They're square. Previously, they were rounded buckles. These help them stay in place more. But I want to note, these are kind of a set it and forget it type of deal. You're not normally just going to be pulling these off and on. You kind of cinch them down, put them in the position you'd like, and then you swing over to the medial side of these boots, and you've got this large zipper, and that's going to allow you to enter and exit the boots easily. That is just to make sure that they are fitting nice and snug in this area. Swinging around to the back, a little bit of bellows here. You can see just giving it uh, some additional flexibility ability forward and backwards there. The sole itself, I did want to touch on that. It's kind of red wing-esque, if you will. It's very comfortable. It's kind of feels like this styrofoam material. So it is very comfortable to walk around in. It is slip resistant, oil resistant, and you can see the tread pattern there with that kind of classic work style boot. And that is a thermal molded sole. You might see the stitching there, but that is for style and the aesthetic only. Looking about a five out of 10 when it comes to the flexibility. I think this is something you can walk around in if you need to for a short amount of time. I don't think it'd be something very comfortable to wear all day long. Obviously you can, but uh, five out of 10, usually for something we wanna walk around in all day long would be about a four out of 10, but hey, you can do it. Follow your heart there. Now swinging over to the medial side. One thing that is worth mentioning, on the previous model of the Elsinore boots, the zipper was located right where the ankle puck was located before, and it kind of had a flap to hold that armor in place and protect the ankle. So they did move the zipper, um, and you don't have that kind of annoying flap of armor on the inside. So I do like that update for sure. Simple mesh lining on the inside, very straightforward to help with the overall breathability. And then you can see right here front and center, we do have uh, some hard TPU at the top of this. I kind of preferred the metal plate personally, but uh, I still like that we do have some extra protection in this particular era because these are more kind of that traditional 60s kind of 70 inspired dirt style boots. But again, if you're riding in some serious dirt, I'd probably go with something a little bit more uh, beefy when it comes to protection. I think this is kind of more the cafe racer kind of crowd that just want this particular style. But I like what Icon's doing. I like that they brought these back and I like that we have two options. You've got the black and you've got the brown to choose from. And the updates that they made in comparison to the previous Elsinore were very tasteful and I think they made sense overall. But of course, if you're looking for more details, click that info button. That's going to take you over to revzilla.com where you can read other rider reviews. And as always, if you have any questions about these boots or any other gear, please don't hesitate to reach out. Give our gear geeks a call at 877-792-9455 or simply shoot over an email cs at revzilla.com. Thanks for hanging out with us for a bit and taking a closer look at the Icon Elsinore 2 boots. I'm Brandon. Keep it pinned.